my expert opinion, who cares what number it is? It's about to be different. The air is about to change. We had this brother on the show before. Shout out to all the people who appreciated us bringing someone with such a strong opinion on the platform. Shout out to the subscribers. Hit that like, hit that share. Let everybody know you in here. Don't cost you no paper unless you's a mother hater. Doing bigger. Working. The different air out here. We're not on play play time. We got Hassan Campbell in the building. <laughs> Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Shall we begin? First, I want to toast. I hit 300K subscribers. You hit 400K <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> Tap it up. Yeah. Tap it up. Yeah, man. Mm. Ah, a song. Never a dull moment, Campbell. <laughs> you gotta love it. Gotta love it. <sighs> How's your week? <laughs> Joe. <laughs> it's like, where do we start at, huh? Where do we start at? Where do we start at, man? All right. So, from the last time you was here, I saw you kind of went not on a tour, but you've been stepping outside of your comfort zone a couple of times. Right. You did the interview with academics. Right. How was that? I think the interview with academics, the first one was dope. Right. I think it was dope. Was it, was it, were you reluctant to sit with act? Um... The way I see it is like this, right? I, I watch a lot of Malcolm X. I see Malcolm X on plenty of platforms that was, you know, the colonizer. Right. That's what we call him, the colonizer. He was on a platform. So I said, whatever it takes to get the message out, that's what you do. Right. Because people got to keep in mind, regardless of what, academics has millions of the youth watching. Right. You know, so. Millions. At some point in time, I know I had to separate the old street dude and, and, and get to the, you know, the tribal leader. Right. At and some point in time, I want people to understand the caterpillar turns into the butterfly. At some point in time, the real nigga mentality has to go in the garbage. Some people can't take that because they don't know where to go from there. That's all they have. They stuck. Where do we go from there? So many places. It's like you listen to the average conversation. Like, what are you talking about? Then you start scrolling through social media or reading whatever you're reading from, and you're seeing dudes like Elon Musk talking about taking your consciousness out of your body and putting it on a chip so you could buy land in a virtual world and um and live forever buy land so now you got to sit back and you say damn listen to these conversations that dudes is having these people gave us a voice they said the revolution would not be televised they gave you a platform allowed you to grow an audience what are you talking about when you watch Star Trek, The Next Generation, they tell you you can boldly go where no man has ever gone, gone before. before. Then you look at Elon Musk, and it's like, okay, we going to stay stuck talking about being real niggas, or we going to boldly go, even with a conversation and an idea what no man has and never gone, gone before. before. And when I sit back and I analyze Elon Musk, when I analyze religion, I had a conversation with somebody and I was telling them like, listen, man, man puts a limit on God. 
God can't bring you back. He can't reincarnate you the same way he does with the plants. You know, in the fall, the plants die. In the spring, they come back the same exact way. Right. I can show you videos in my garden. Right. But now, Elon Musk actually figured out a way to take your consciousness, your soul, and put it in the cyber world. So now God has a limit and man doesn't. Mm. You know, I've theorized with people for years on that whole concept and seeing where things are going. And one of my theories is whether you believe in God or not, whether you believe we're heading. Like if God made you in the image of himself, then you're his child. What do children grow up to be? Why do we aspire as human beings to be so much bigger than what we are? Why do we, why are we born into a world and look for ways to change it and look for ways to make it better? Who we are now and all the things that we're capable of, what will we be capable of 10,000 years from now? Well, all you have to do is watch Star Trek. <laughs> Facts. I mean, I tell people all the time, we sat back and watched them show us in the future, we'd be able to talk through these devices, through the TV, and look at each other and look at Matt for her song, Campbell Matt, yeah. like, wow. Yeah. And then on top of that, us two. I feel like Math Hoffa and Hassan Campbell has a similar message, a similar style, same background. Not too many like us, but the ones who like us really, really like us. Right. What separate the two of us from a lot of dudes is the spirituality. Everybody could be a thug. Right. But some just ain't got no righteousness in them. And that's... The righteousness is what makes you a million times more dangerous than a thug. Because through the belief, through your beliefs, a thug might feel that fear walking through the door, going into the danger zone. But when you believe God with you, totally different ball game. Bruh, there's nothing stopping you. There were certain times in my life where I felt that so strongly that I would walk into things and look, and after everything is said and done, I look behind me and see everybody else that was supposed to walk in with me is way back there. But because I felt the way I felt, I completed the mission. Hmm? You feel me? Right. Different. It's different. The things that they convince people to do out here, believing in a, a God, Suicide bombers and all that. Ain't no thugs doing that. Ain't no thugs about to say, yo, I'm gonna walk up in here <clears throat> and I know I'm not making it out. <clears throat> no. Them thugs get locked up, they go to jail, they decide they don't like it, and they're not thugs no more. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Turn smack rapper, smack. only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Uh -huh. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard.